In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a custom wordmark in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to move step by step from research to sketching on paper and creating the final vector wordmark in Illustrator. So sit back and let's get into it. All right. So before any design is done, it's good for us to understand what the company is actually about, which is the goal of this mini project brief. So MimoWorks is a construction company that offers design services, construction services to offices and generally corporate environments. So they wanted a brand that appealed to people in this environment, mainly parents, people of the working class, right? So their identity was to be corporate and one that exuded trust. So I did some research on companies that kind of aligned with this vision of the company, companies that had bold identities that really looked corporate and confident within the construction sector. So this was kind of like the problem I really wanted to solve. Building a construction company, so mainly colors that aligned with that was red and black, as well as white. A company that was bold, so leveraging on a strong logo and a typeface, and also a company that had a corporate feel, so mainly targeting parents and working class individuals. So it's kind of good for you to think this way when approaching a branding project because it gives you a clear head before you even start designing and it helps to show you the real problem you are trying to solve. So these are just some of the sketches I came up with, mainly kind of block concepts, things that kind of look like a bold letter M. I also tried something around like an isometric top of a building just to connect directly to construction and this is where the word mark idea kind of came up with. I also tried some other rounded concepts of like an M and a W to represent memo works. But eventually I just narrowed down on making it a word mark because I felt it represented the entire brand best. And also making things kind of angular, angle 90, angle 45, just to show that the brand is directly related to construction. I then took it over to kind of work on each of the letters just to make sure they kind of worked together. And after I was finalized on how I wanted it to be, I expanded it to a full blown sketch. Now, the whole idea of the sketching phase is just to get out as many bad ideas as you can, so you can narrow down on one good one. So never feel intimidated when sketching. I'd love to know, do you guys sketch first or you go straight into Illustrator? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. So now we're done with our sketch, let's head into Illustrator and design. All right, so now we're in Illustrator and first thing to do is always to reduce the opacity of your image and lock it down by pressing Ctrl 2 or Command 2 for Mac users. Next off, I'll use my rectangle tool and draw a shape which is going to form the base width for our logo mark. I'll hold Alt and drag to form the middle section of the M and I'll press Ctrl D or Command D to form the end of the M. Now using the pen tool, I'll just draw these diagonal lines, just snap it in place and hold Alt and drag down to form the bottom section. All right, so next off, I'll select it, hold Alt and drag to form the other side of the M and I'll extend this line here so it can cut across the last rectangle. Now, I'll drag the rectangle to form the E. So same width for the stem and I'll rotate it to form the top section of the E and just align it in place. It's good for you to press Command Y so you can make sure all your lines are perfectly aligned and not overlapping. So forming the bottom section as well and just dragging it in place to fit the sketch. And I'll hold Alt and drag to form the middle section. Now I kind of saw it was better optically balanced when the middle section was smaller and you see how that works when we do the final build of the logo. So dragging the diagonal lines in place and just aligning it properly and we'll just align it to the top here and we'll hold Alt and drag to align it to the middle section as well. I can see how that fits in place. I'll just extend it. So it's properly length. I think it should actually align here, which is better. Okay. So just sizing that up 
and cross checking to make sure everything is aligned so to form the next end we don't need to draw anything again we'll just hold alt and drag and snap it in place and finally for the letter o we'll drag it in drag the rectangles for both sides hold alt and drag and then use that to form the top section then we'll just align it in place to fit the width just using the align tools to make sure we don't make any mistakes and we'll drag it down holding alt as well to form the bottom section then we can use the same diagonal lines to align it properly at the top and bottom just to make sure everything is consistent same width same diagonals all right so we're done with the outline of our logo and i'll just make a duplicate here to make sure we have a spare copy and i'll use the shape builder tool to just form the logo and remove all the extra points outside it now I'll select everything and use trim on that pathfinder to make sure there are no stray points lying around so now we have our base logo but the kerning between the letters is kind of off so i'm just going to use a base width i'm using about 10 pixels just to make sure the distance between each of the letters is equal so i'll just drag that down and check each of the spacing between the letters to make sure everything is properly aligned so i'll just zoom out now and you can see we have our base logo equally with equally spaced letters so now i'll just take the logo and kind of scale it down just resize it within the artboard so we have our base logo now just add the trademark registration mark on the logo just outline that and put that in place just scale it a little and for balance of the logo this is another important point so i'll use the same width i was using in the logo mark just to ensure that everything is properly balanced so i'll just scale up the works a little and increase the tracking within the letters just to make sure it's well spaced and i'm going to outline that as well just to make sure it's vector then i'll just scale it to the height of the box okay so that's done and i'll delete the box out and just align it properly to fit with the memo and now we have our memo works base logo so i went on to create some variations for the logo horizontal vertical and stacked versions just so when we are creating the branding mockups the presentations everything can really come to life and really excite the client so that's it guys that's how to create a logo wordmark in illustrator Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as this really helps my channel. And if you would love to learn more on logo and branding, click the video on screen. Bye-bye.